curvy vegans it's your girl gina marie from veganwithcurves.com welcome back to my channel now if you are new here be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that you are notified when new videos are uploaded okay so i'm super super excited about this video it took me a long time to film this over i filmed this literally over four days so um it's slow cooker still cut oats and um it's flavored four different ways that's why it took me four days to film it because it was literally my breakfast the four days the four ways were my four breakfasts those days i was filming so along with the four different flavors that we're going to be doing with these still cut oats i'm also going to be adding some calorie dense foods in there to show you how to bulk it up for healthy vegan weight gain as always the full ingredient instruction list is on my website veganwithcurves.com i will put the link to that below in the show notes or you can just click right up here should what some it's somewhere up here <laughs> to get the full recipe the full ingredient list and instructions all right so without further ado let's get to making a curvy vegan breakfast for the next four days let's go let's do this <laughs> Okay, so I'm cooking this in my Ninja Foodi using the slow cooker function, but you can use whatever slow cooker you have on hand. To start, lightly oil the pot to help prevent the still cut oats from sticking once they're done. And then you wanna add your still cut oats to the pot along with some water and some plant-based milk. Now I'm using my hemp seed sea moss milk but again you could use whatever plant-based ba milk you have on hand and slightly stir it around mixing it together so that the liquid and the oats can combine and then take your lid on your slow cooker or if you're using a ninja foodie take the pressure cooker top and place it over your pot and make sure that your vial is turned to seal turn on your ninja foodie press the slow cook button bring the temperature down to low and set the time for eight hours press start and let that cook overnight. And in the morning, the timer will go off. It will keep warm in the pot and your oats will be nice, thick and creamy and ready to serve. Okay, so day one, our flavor combination will be peanut butter banana. So we're going to add our prepared still cut oats to a bowl. And in a separate bowl, we're going to mash a ripe banana. And add that to our still cut oats. This is going to help naturally sweeten it a bit without adding too much additional sugar. And then we're going to bulk it up with some calorically dense staples like peanut butter and hemp seeds. Now, not only will this add more calories, but it will give us more protein. So we're just gonna mix this together and you can pretty much eat it like this, but I like to add toppings to mine to make it look pretty cause I eat with my eyes. So I'm going to be adding some additional banana slices, a little drizzle of maple syrup and a drizzle of some additional peanut butter. And that is day one of our healthy vegan weight gain breakfast. So all together, this breakfast has 650 calories, 37 grams of healthy fats, 60 grams of curvy carbohydrates, and 27 grams of protein. You're also getting a lot of potassium, fiber, calcium, and iron in this breakfast. Okay, so day two, our flavor is going to be almond, coconut, blueberry, orange. So to a bowl of prepared steel cut oats, we're going to add in some fresh squeezed orange juice. Now it sounds a little weird, but trust me, it is delicious. <laughs> and we're gonna also add some calorie dense coconut condensed milk for sweetness and to bulk up the calories. I'm using this brand I found at Whole Foods, but I will put a link below as to where you can get it online or you can just make your own. I will also put a recipe link below as well. Continuing on, we're going to add some blueberries and some sliced almonds, uh, which is another calorie dense food to bulk up the calories. And we're going to mix that together. And I forgot to add the coconut flakes before I mixed it originally. So I'm going to be adding that now and then mix that together until fully combined. And that's it. Now, again, you can eat it just like this, but I am a stickler for toppings. So we're going to top it with some additional blueberries, almonds, 
orange zest and this makes it look really pretty and spring and summery like coconut flakes and a little drizzle of maple syrup. And that is day two of our healthy vegan weight gain breakfast. So all together, this breakfast has about 681 calories, 26 grams of healthy fats, 95 grams of curvy carbohydrates, and 23 grams of protein. You're also getting some vitamin C and bioflavonoids, which helps vitamin C absorb because of the orange juice and the orange zest. Okay, so day three, our flavor combination will be salted apple pecan cinnamon. So we're gonna take some peeled and chopped apples and add them to a pot along with some maple syrup just to lightly kind of caramelize the apples. And once we're done with that, we're going to remove it from the heat and set aside. And now to our bowl of prepared steel cut oats, we're gonna add some apple butter. And I'm using my homemade crock pot apple butter recipe. I will link that below if you're interested or you could just use store-bought. Some maple syrup, some calorie dense pecans to bulk up the calories and protein. And we're gonna take half of those cooked caramelized apples and add it to the bowl of our oatmeal and just mix together into fully combined. Then we're going to top it with our remaining caramelized apples, maple syrup, some coarse sea salt flakes. And look, this really tastes fantastic combined with the maple syrup. So like, oh my God, please, please don't skip this part. <laughs> And we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top and I'm using Ceylon cinnamon and some more crushed pecans. So all together, this breakfast has 746 calories, 31 grams of healthy fats, 108 grams of curvy carbohydrates and 17 grams of protein. Also, this dish is super high in fiber and with the Ceylon cinnamon, it helps keep your blood sugar low, decreasing the amount of sugar that absorbs in your bloodstream. And the last bowl of our oats, day four, our flavor combination is maple walnut sweet potato. So we're gonna grab a medium to small sweet potato and I'm using the garnet red potatoes because, oh my God, <laughs> I love the flavor of garnet red sweet potatoes. So I'm peeling and chopping the sweet potato and adding it to a small pan lined with parchment paper along with some oil, maple syrup, and some cinnamon. I'm just gonna toss that around until all the potatoes are coated. And then we're going to roast potatoes covered in the oven until they caramelize. Once they are done roasting, we are going to reserve a few potatoes for toppings later on. And then the rest we're going to add to a bowl and smash them down to make a sweet potato puree. To our bowl of prepared oats, we're gonna add in the sweet potato puree along with our calorie dense creamy peanut butter, some maple syrup, and our calorie dense walnuts. And we're gonna mix that together into fully combined. And then we're going to top it with our leftover sweet potatoes, some additional walnuts, and a little drizzle of maple syrup. And that is day four of our healthy vegan weight gain breakfast. So all together, this breakfast has about 897 calories, 41 grams of healthy fats, 113 grams of curvy carbohydrates and 28 grams of protein. Also with this bowl, you are getting an awesome amount of beta carotene because of the sweet potatoes. And that completes our four day healthy vegan weight gain breakfasts. And you see how easy it is to make a big batch of something and then have different varieties, different days, and also different ways to bulk them up. And yes, I know these breakfasts have a lot of calories, but remember, you are trying to gain weight. So you have to have high calorie meals if you want gains. And plus, your body is going to need a lot of calories while you're lifting weights. Plus, these calories are from whole plant-based foods packed with nutrition that your body needs for overall health. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video. And again, it was a labor of love because it took so long <laughs> to film it. But again, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know in the comment section, like which flavor profile do you like the best? I can't decide between the blueberry one or the apple one because I love it when the sea salt hits the maple. Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> 
so good. <laughs> As always, if you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you did like this video you know hey i understand you can give it a thumbs down but as always i always ask that you please be respectful in the comment section thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your time and attention and i will see you in the next video peace and blessings